Hi everybody, it's Dr. Verdi, and today's video is about the Instant Pot. It is my all-time favorite kitchen gadget, and whether you're a patient, a family member, or a friend, you've probably heard me talk about it. Um, so what I love about it is the pressurized aspect of the Instant Pot, it's an electronic pressure cooker, allows you to cook meals in a very short amount of time. The increased pressure means that um, foods are able to cook quicker and at a lower temperature. And so for people who like to do meal prep on one day of the week, it allows you to quickly make a couple of meals in a short amount of time. But also if you end up having to come home from work and make food for dinner and leftovers for tomorrow for lunch, that's something that you're able to do um, very quickly, typically in less than an hour, for me often less than half an hour. So you're all done? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. So with the uh, increased pressure, you have the reduced cooking time and the decreased temperature uh, for cooking. And the reduction of temperature actually gives us some really beneficial um, health effects. So the first one being that nutrient levels in the foods typically are preserved when they're cooked at a lower temperature. Um, there was one study done looking at broccoli. And when broccoli was cooked in the Instant Pot as opposed to the stove top, about 92% of the nutrients were preserved. And it's because stove top cooking typically requires high heat. And also the antioxidants that you find in broccoli, the sulforaphanes, are um, increased in bioavailability, which means we are able to absorb and utilize more of them. The same thing goes for the nutrients and the proteins that you find in legumes like lentils and beans. The other thing about the decreased cooking temperature is that things like meats and other foods, when they're cooked at high heat, generate a substance called acrylamides, which are carcinogenic. And so uh, using a pressure cooker uh, reduces that temperature, so it reduces the amount of acrylamides that are made in the meats. And the last thing is that phytic acid levels are lowered when you're preparing foods that are higher in phytic acid. So grains and legumes typically are high in phytic acid. Um, the pressurized uh, aspect of it decreases the amount of phytic acid that you'd find. So one study looked at peas that were allowed to soak overnight and then boiled on the stovetop and the phytic acid content from the soaking and stovetop cooking was about 24% reduced. Uh, now, when the beans were soaked overnight and then cooked in a pressure cooker, the reduction of phytic acid was about 54%. So it looks like cooking actually helps lower lectin levels and phytic acid levels. And phytic acid is actually a anti-nutrient, so um, it leaches out minerals from our body. And so the phytic acid increases nutrient bioavailability for us as well. So <laughs> there's a lot going on in my house right now, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> so um, yeah, overall, using a pressure cooker is a really efficient way to eat healthier. <laughs> the other thing is that a lot of the times things like beans that you buy canned, they have, they're exposed to BPA. Uh, through the lining of the can. Um, and canned beans are a really quick way of getting beans and other legumes into our diet. Um, and I found that I wasn't able to get a lot of the, the legumes into my diet because I wanted to reduce exposure to canned foods. So this is a way that you're able to, <laughs> this is a way that you're able to, um, <laughs> okay, sorry about that. I went into a giggle fit because my son tooted really loud. Um, so anyway, so when you're able to pressure cook beans, you're able to cook them really quickly instead of having to decide um, days before that you need to set aside time to be near the stove while they're cooking for four to five hours. So I really like having the opportunity to use a pressure cooker. Um, the other thing that I noticed was I had to cut out a lot of legumes and grains from my diet because it would cause a lot of gas and bloating and overall discomfort. And I found that with using the Instant Pot, because the lectin levels are reduced, I have no 
GI symptoms at all when I'm eating things like chickpeas and beans. So um, it's really good for people who want to eat a variety of protein sources but were previously restricted to a more meat-based uh, protein uh, as their source of protein in their diet. So um, I highly recommend it. Black Friday is coming up and there's some great deals on the Instant Pot around Black Friday and around the holidays. It's great especially if you want to eat healthy, but time has always been an issue. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon.